Hello again. And here we are, another lesson, another week. I hope your week's been going well. I know some of you might be going to preschool and maybe some of you aren't. I know my grandson is doing it at home. He does, they do little bits of preschool at home for him. And I know other kids are going. Anyway, so we're studying about Jesus. Yep, that's right. So two weeks ago, we talked about when Jesus went into Jerusalem and how people celebrated him going in. And people were excited, except for some of the religious leaders. They were not excited. In fact, they were angry and jealous. And I, I believe with Mrs. Hillig last week, Jesus was, was talking with some of those leaders and they were trying to trick him into saying bad things. And I think Jesus was able to not be tricked. So today we're gonna talk about the Last Supper. And that is when we do communion with the bread and the little grape juice and stuff, that is because we're remembering back to the Last Supper. That was Jesus' last meal before he died on the cross. So, first, they were in the area of Jerusalem. I don't know where they were staying, but we do know that Jesus told two of his disciples, go find, go, go talk to this man. He has a room that we can use to have our meal in. So they went out and they were able, that was Peter and John, and they were able to find this room. So, I'm gonna start here. Jesus knew that not everybody liked him. He knew the leaders were angry with him. There we are. Then, in fact, they were so angry and so jealous, they wanted to kill him. Jesus knew that too. But Jesus still had his special friends, Peter, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Simon, Matthew, James, Thomas, Thaddeus, and Judas. They had been his friends for a long time. They had traveled with them, and Jesus had taught them many things. All right, so here they are in their top room having the meal. So Jesus, he took bread and he broke it and he shared it with his friends. And he said, this is my body, take it and eat. Next, he took a glass of wine, he gave thanks to God for it, and he shared it with his friends too. This is like my blood. It makes a new covenant. Then Jesus said, I will not be with you much longer. I have to leave. But do not worry. I will come back. You are my friends. Love each other as I love you. So again, remember we, we at, well in our church, once a month we have communion, which means we take a bit of bread. That is to remind us of Jesus' body, that Jesus was here with us in his body and the wine, which is to remind us that Jesus' blood, he bled for us. So I mentioned the word covenant. I don't know if you know what a covenant is, but it means it's an agreement, kind of a promise that two people are making together. So God made a covenant. Now remember, okay, here's our Bible. Remember how thick it is? The stories that we're doing today, in fact, this, everything that has to do with Jesus is in this part of the Bible. And this, this is called the Old Testament, and a testament is the story, and this is the New Testament. So the story of Jesus and the story of God with the Israelites. So. Which one's bigger? This one's a whole lot bigger. 
because there's a lot more years, thousands and thousands of years that are in this part. So the New Testament is where the stories are about Jesus. But in the Old Testament, and remember, I, I'm sure you guys have had classes where we talk about Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel and Noah and Abraham and Moses. Those are all stories. Those are some of the first stories of the Old Testament where God is making himself known to people. Then God makes an agreement. He makes where there's a promise, all right, to each other. The people promise to love and obey God, and God promises to be their God, to love them and to help take care of them. But sadly, there's a lot of stories of people breaking God's prom the, the covenant with God. They did not keep their promises. And you know what? God knew. And he knew that that's why we would need Jesus. That God could, couldn't forgive their sins without something. And that something was Jesus. And that, that it was with Jesus dying that, that our sins were forgiven. And Jesus was, not only did he die, but he was raised again. And so now it's that God looks at us, but he also sees Jesus and what Jesus did to save us. So it's a new covenant that we're living under. God will forgive people their sins, and God will now is helping us to obey him. And we, have, and we are to, to, to learn to love and to seek God. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? It's, and it's something that we will continue to talk about. But we are loved by God, and we, it's something to be very thankful for. So that's it for today. And I will, uh, I pray that you all are doing well, and I will talk to you next time. All right, bye-bye.